Hello there, people. My name's Ollie, and this is Pause Full. Mm. Um, I've been hearing an awful lot of rumours lately about things related to the console market, such as the Steam Box, and people have been ranting on, Oh my god, I'm going to get a Steam Box! Which, um, and I couldn't help but thinking a long time ago, well, not that long ago, that this was absolute rubbish, mainly because with the prices that have been rumoured to go around, it would be about six hundred, seven hundred pounds. Looking at a Pro i7, that's rumored. Now it was just priced way out of the console market, and because it's a console, people who want to buy a PC naturally, for the fact that it's a PC and the upgradeability, you wouldn't want to buy one. And I had this discussion discussion with a friend, and um, he didn't believe me. And lo and behold, Gabe Newell or Valve just confirmed undeniably that this is total rubbish. So. I thought in the in this uh, little mini series or whatever, I'd like to give my stance uh, on the uh, on the a few gaming rumours that are flying around, and you guys pretty much quell this excitement, being the very boring, low, sad person I am. And the one that's really got me going at the moment is how the Xbox 720 is or so uh, whatever is going to have no disc tray, and I cannot help but think that this is. Absolutely stupid. Num and here are my reasons for it. Number one, there will be, it seems to me as if there will be zero backwards compatibility with previous games. And given the, the amount that Microsoft is putting in towards its games at the moment, with the rumored release of the Xbox 720 to be incredibly soon, uh, losing compa backwards compatibility with games such as Halo 4, which I'm sort of looking forward to coming out, will be a disaster. And it's pretty much market suicide. Again, you will, and the whole idea is that, is that games are stored on the cloud and people access them online. This will also totally destroy an entire market of people who do, who are not connected to the internet. And it does exist, and it, and not everyone is connected to the internet, no, not everyone has incredibly fast broadband speeds that you would need to download these games. And it will, and it would also require a constant internet connection which some people do not have. And on every single network outage, this is the biggest point, every single network outage, nobody can play any games. When PlayStation 3 went down for a few days, days people went absolutely crazy. Naturally, that was also to do with security concerns, but many people were just more concerned about losing their service. Remember, that is a free service, and people are being annoyed not losing what is essentially a free online service, bearing in mind you there is the cost of the PlayStation in the first place. But when you are paying £40 a year, any network outage, you lose playing games, that is suicide, you are losing your entire market, you are annoying absolutely everybody, plus you're going to have to pay a huge amount of incredibly costly servers that are going to need to store the massive amount of games. Again, so all this is doing is draining money from Microsoft, and it, a uh, disk drive and disks are pennies. Pennies or millions. Simple as that. All I can tell you is that the Xbox 720 not having, not having a disk tray is total false bull. <coughs> and will not be happening. So, if you have any more rumours that you'd like to hear me discuss, come, uh, say, it would be a good idea, do like this, how it's absolute no way, then you know him, please send us a PM, post in the comments, rate, subscribe, and tell me what you think.